There's a new update of the Tentacle Time Bar app that lets you jam sync your GoPro with QR codes if you have GoPro Labs firmware. I'm gonna test this out and see how close it's getting uh, to frame accurate time code. Let's check it out. Now I've intentionally set my time code way off using the QR code app with, with bad settings uh, on purpose. And now we're gonna look at the Tentacle app. But you can see uh, this is the Android version which has a great interface now. And I can choose Tentacle QR time code, GoPro, or none. Um, and you can see it gives you just your your slate basically, which we use a lot on on set for. So if if, if you're on a production with a bunch of other cameras, everybody will have a Tentacle, one of these, and that is sending time code to anyone who has this app. Um, so we'll all have tentacles that are synced, so we're all looking at the same time code. And now, if you have a GoPro, you can turn this on. I'm gonna turn off set GoPro frame rate. Um, you can see that I'm set to 23.98 on my tentacle, which is what everybody would be set to. Um, so just to to, to to keep from screwing up, I could also go set GoPro frame rate. And now this QR code will set my GoPro to 2398 and will also set my um, time code. It will jam my time code to very close to this, um, what the slate says. So I'll stop down real quick and start back up after flashing that, and it should be more or less dead on or very close. So we'll see how close that is. Uh, well, you're looking at it right now. I'll find out when I get in and, and look at it on in, in DaVinci. Yeah, so it looks like we had it set within 10 frames. I've just reset it so that it should be off again because what I wanna do is see if it's consistent to, to uh, 10 frames. So let's try that again. I'm gonna stop it and re okay. Now it should be set again, and now I'm gonna reset it one more time. Okay, so now it should be off again, and then let's reset it on again. Okay, now I've set it on again, and how close are we? And let's try a different GoPro. So this is another Hero 10, but it's a different Hero 10. So I've set it to the wrong time code. And now we'll put it on the Tentacle app. And now I've started and uh, stopped and started and reset the time code with the Tentacle app. And how are we doing? Also, I've got it so it's setting the GoPro frame rate, so I'll turn that off too and we'll try it one more time. So stop down and screw up the time code. Okay, time code should be off now. And now I'm going to try the tentacle QR code that doesn't uh, set the frame rate. And how is that? Are we also within the same number of frames as we were on the other GoPro? So having tested that now on two different GoPros, these are both Hero 10s, and they were both consistently 10 frames off. Uh, so what that's telling me is that um, if the GoPros add the feature that uh, David Newman had suggested, which is um, to be able to uh, calibrate, basically adjust um, by X number of frames, once you figure out how far yours is off, you could, you could uh, put in a, a 10 frame adjustment for instance, on mine, and I would be frame accurate, pretty much, down to within a frame, um, using QR codes and the tentacle time bar. So uh, this is pretty awesome, and we're really, really close. Thanks, tentacle.